Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This video is for teaching SICS, that is Small Incision Cataract Surgery. This is how superior erectus brittle suture is placed. The eyeball is retracted downward with the help of a muscle hook and this superior erectus brittle suture is passed. This will make the eyeball stable in many steps like making incision, making the tunnel, conjunctival peritomy and many other steps. And now we go to a little higher magnification and going to start conjunctival peritomy. Since this is a soft cataract, soft cortical cataract, Conjunctival peritomy is being done for only 2 clock hours from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock and only conjunctiva has been taken. The thick tenons is remaining underneath but we have to remove this tenon otherwise we cannot do wet field cautery. So a nick in the tenons and the tenon is trimmed little bit and now the tenons on the right side is healed with the tooth forceps the scissor is in the left hand and the tenons is trimmed a bit and now the scleral surface is nicely exposed and we can do bipolar weight field cautery but the cautery should be very mild we should not cause any contraction and charring of the scleral surface. The assistant should put BSS drop by drop and very mild weight field cautery is done. So the cautery is done and now the very important step making the sclerocorneal tunnel the incision has to be passed at about half thickness depth of the sclera and this is a 50 number Bart Bucker blade and it has been used to place the incision this incision is not deep it is about one third thickness and now the crescent blade is being used to go to proper depth and now this is how you make the tunnel. The crescent blaze blade goes into the clear cornea for a few millimeter. The chin of the patient was elevated too much and the position of the head has been corrected and now the sclerocorneal tunnel is being done. See the superiectus brittle suture is keeping the eyeball stable and we don't have to use the left hand most of the time for making the tunnel. If we want to use the left hand we have to hold the limbus somewhere. So the tunnel is made, it is blind tunnel at this moment. The corneal side is not open. Now this is a uh, paracentesis at nine o'clock an air bubble is injected and now tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule of the cataract the dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule for uniform staining the dye is then washed out with BSS or ringolactate having done this now this is visco 2% HPMC filling off the anterior chamber and now I'm going to do rexis with the help of a needle 26 case band needle and this is visco with the ocular surface with the cornea 
this will improve visibility and now the needle is being used yes the capsule has been incised capsular tag has been raised and now this capsular tag is being guided in such a way that we get an adequate size to rexis and as I see is the size of the rexis should not be less than 5.5 millimeter it should be actually 6 millimeter because we have to prolapse the nucleus from the capsular back now the tunnel is being opened the corneal side is being opened uh, on end to the other end this is the keratome so this is done and now we have to do hydro dissection and prolapse the nucleus as we do hydro dissection if the rexis is of adequate size it will prolapse in most of the cases like this the hydro dissection cannula itself can prolapse the nucleus now visco is injected both in front and behind the lens mass and now an irrigating vectus is being used to deliver the nucleus this is the irrigating vectus attached to a bottle at about 100 centimeter and see how smoothly the, the nucleus comes out and the irrigating vectus is being used to remove the epinucleus also and now we have to remove the cortex visco is again injected to fill up the anterior chamber and now the 23 gauze simco we can use 20 on or 22 also but 23 gauze simco is okay because we can make a small side port if we use a 23 gauze simco now the simco goes through the side port at 9 o'clock and it removes the cortex from all around So, cortical cleanup is done. And now, there's some lens fibers sticking to the posterior capsule, which I could not polish with the Simco. I tried to polish through the side port, but it didn't come. Now, what to do? Take the hydro dissection cannula. The cannula should be blunt and should have rounded end and just gently inject BSS or ring lactate near the cells sticking to the posterior capsule. And the cells get cells get dislodged and the capsule gets nicely polished. And now visco is injected to fill up the capsular bag as well as the anterior chamber. And now this is the lens. This is a PMMA rigid lens of 6 millimeter diameter and the lens has been placed in the capsular bag note that I used two instruments to hold the lens so that the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and now you just dial the lens in such a way that and check that both the haptics are in the capsular bag and now 
our job is to remove the visco from the capsular bag as well as from the anterior chamber very nicely if there is retained visco it can cause raised iop raised intraocular pressure and then we have to administer a lot of anti glaucoma medications which are particularly acetazolamide which is not tolerated by many patients so a thorough cleaning of visco is done and now the side port is to be closed this is moxifloxacin corneal stroma on either side of the side port are hydrated the lips of the side port becomes thick and the side port opening get closed now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber and capsular bag the anterior chamber is irrigated then the capsular bag is irrigated the anterior chamber is irrigated again there's some air bubbles the air bubbles are removed and now the anterior chamber is nicely formed in this way and now we have to again the anterior chamber is formed because the previous formation was not satisfactory yes now we can digitally feel the intraocular pressure there is no leakage from the main wound and side port has been closed the main wound doesn't need any suture and now I'm going to inject gentamicin and dexamethasone here and this will cause advancement of conjunctiva near the limbus now the superior rectus brittle suture is removed though the conjunctiva remains opposed by a subconjunctural injection most of the time to be 100% sure we can put a releasable suture with 10 o nylon in this way take the bite in this way and now pull the thread releasable suture means we have to just use three loops and on pull let us observe it very carefully this is one two and three loops hold this thread and just pull once and your releasable suture is done now the long thread with the needle cut it short near the knot the longer thread if you just pull it it will come off thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in learning SICS be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence